Hey everyone, it's Tyler from My Computer Works, and today we're gonna be diving into Chromebooks, okay? Um, and this right here is the Acer Chromebook 315. It is one of the most popular budget brands of Chromebooks out there, uh, primarily because of the price. I got this thing for $80 brand new on a flash sale from Best Buy, okay? Now, if you just picked one up, don't start just clicking around on it. I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up the right way, speeding it up, optimizing settings and clearing out all the junk so it just runs smoother okay faster and longer let's jump right into it okay so right out the box we get this nice chromebook here 15.6 inch screen surprise me for 80 dollars for a laptop that's nuts okay it is a usb-c power adapter style okay so you'll plug in uh, on the left side here your chromebook it comes with a little charger like most devices now it's not rocking much for power to be honest got an Intel Celeron N4500 inside of it, four gigabytes of RAM and a 64 gigabyte EMMC storage card. So as far as specs go, basic specs, okay? But that's totally fine for people who are just trying to go on the web, use their documents, it's got Google Docs built in, and streaming if you wanna optimize it for that, okay? Um, it can definitely stream video, no problem, and even play some games. Now, before powering it up, plug in the charger, okay? I already have it all charged up. And if you have one, go online, or if you don't have one, go online and buy one. Get yourself a little micro SD card. I know it's really hard to see here in this little video, but get yourself a little micro SD card, okay? 64 gigabytes of internal storage on an eMMC is, is nothing, guys. You're gonna burn through that so fast. You can get like a 256 gigabyte little SD card for like 20, 24 bucks on amazon.com. Stick it in the side. There's an SD card slot right here. Pop that bad boy in and boom, you just maybe quadrupled, tripled, whatever your storage, okay? Um, I went ahead and threw in a 256, oh, hold please. 128 gigabytes, good. I just had a couple sitting around. So I threw 128 gigabyte SD card in here. So I could store more documents and whatever else on the SD card, okay? Grab yourself an SD card if storage is gonna be an issue. Okay, so now here I am on the Chromebook. I got it fired up, set up was so, so simple, okay? So if you have a Google account, you just sign into your Google account and that's pretty much it. You choose a couple customization, personalization settings and you're in, that's it. Nothing complicated, okay? That's the whole thing about Chromebooks. That's why they're using them for students. That's why I recommend if you're an older person who's not good with their computer, Chromebook might be the way to go, or if you're just not a computer person at all and you like simplicity and you enjoy Google products, you have a Google account, Chromebook might be the way for you, okay? Because this thing is very simple. I was actually very surprised uh, and pleased by how simple it was. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and recommend probably one for my, for my grandma or like my other family members who are not tech people because it's very simple, very easy to use, no problems with the setup. Um, you don't have a lot of upkeep with these. Again, just going online, just making documents, this could be the perfect device for you. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the time and the date down in the bottom right. This is sort of your fast menu, okay? Now you got lots of options from this little menu, okay? You can change your Wi-Fi network, you could turn Bluetooth on and off, you could cast your screen to another device, which is pretty awesome, like if you wanna cast it to a TV or a monitor or whatever you're trying to do. Uh, do not disturb mode here, screen capture, which is how I'm, uh, currently filming this video, all that kind of stuff is here, volume control, and the settings gear, which is huge, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to a section at the bottom called About Chrome OS. Once we choose that, we're gonna go ahead and check for updates, because sometimes these things don't always come updated. Mine is updated in this case, so we're good there. Now let's talk about how to make it faster. All right, so here's a pretty cool built-in little trick. We're gonna open up Chrome, okay? We're gonna go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash settings. And then again with a forward slash and performance. Okay, so we're gonna type that in there. That's gonna take us into our performance settings here. Okay, once we're here inside the settings and performance settings, we can turn on memory saver, okay? Memory saver frees up memory from inactive tabs. This gives active tabs and other apps more computer resources and keeps Chrome faster. Now, considering you're gonna be using Chrome a lot on here, it's a good idea to have this turned on. 
It's also a good idea to go ahead and turn on energy saver while you're in here to extend the battery life. Okay, so that'll open up your settings. You can make sure you have battery saver turned on. Okay, this will extend battery life by reducing the brightness, limiting background activity and visual effects, delaying the notifications, and turning on the built-in Chrome energy saver. So it turns it on both on the, the Chrome book, but also for Google Chrome, okay? Next thing we wanna do is we're gonna reopen Chrome, and we're gonna go to a new website this time. Up top, we're gonna type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags okay just like i'm doing here this is going to take us into some experimental stuff here but ultimately what we're looking for is we're going to scroll down until we find gpu we can search for it gpu rasterization okay right there now what this does is it can make your graphics a little bit smoother if you set it to enabled on your device okay it could make things look a little bit better we're also gonna search for parallel downloading. And go ahead and enable this, okay? This could make it so our files download a bit faster. So turn this on. Okay, so those are some great fast ways to improve your new Chromebook. Beyond that, I mean, it runs pretty well on its own. I've been really surprised. Uh, Chrome OS is pretty low resource. It doesn't require a lot. Things are opening fast. It's running very well. So if you need a cheap budget computer, 80 bucks will get you a Chromebook, maybe a hundred right now. I think it's like 120. It went up a little bit. A hundred, 120 bucks will get you a Chromebook, get you online to do the things you need. Again, there are limitations. I'm going to be talking about this in future videos. I'm going to be talking about the things that it cannot do compared to Windows. I'm also going to be running some how-to videos on how to do things on Chromebook. Okay. So if you own a Chromebook and you want to know how to do something, been wondering a while drop the comment down below and i'll show that in a, vi a future video thanks for watching everybody make sure to hit that like and subscribe call the number here if you need help especially with your chromebook we help with chromebooks apple products windows products and everything in between right so if it's technology we probably help with it give us a call and we'll be happy to help you as well thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the next one